Hey guys, Hi. it's Papa and Mama Pops and welcome back to the channel known as Papa Pops. We have a video today and I think this is what we're going to do with hauls from now on because we're always picking stuff up. So I think we're going to start doing monthly hauls. So this is going to be the month of June. Let's call this the month of June. Haul. Even though it's July 5th. Even though it's July 5th and I don't know when this is being posted. So let's call this the month of June haul. We have a lot for you and I think you're going to like what we see but you're going to have to wait about three seconds so we'll see you in about three two and one <laughs> Okay, so again, June 2020. Let us know what you think about this. Should we do it like where we just recap a month so that way there's not too many hauls since we have so many mystery boxes and stuff? Or what do y'all think? Let us know in the comments or down below. Or do you below. like each video yeah. for each haul? It just means that this is going to be a longer video than most. So grab your popcorn, your yeah. pajamas, your slippers, your girlfriend, boyfriend. YouTube, Papa Pops, channel and chill. Okay, anyways. We went to a lot of places um, because we, had to, we had to do some traveling, which we haven't been doing much. It was our first time since January that we've been out of state. We had to take my nephew to the airport um, at Pittsburgh, PA, yeah. so he could travel back home. He came and visited for a little bit before yeah. he started baseball for college. So we ended up going up for a day and hanging out. And yep. We masked up the whole time, so yeah. safety first. Anyways, we went to a lot of places, so that's kind of what we're reviewing. This is not all from that day. This is from multiple days. But um, So first off, we went to Target and got one thing, and this one's cool. Um, it's a sideways one. I never know how I feel about this, but it works for this one, and this is Farrah Fawcett Icon. This is a really cool figure. Um, there she is on the back of the box. Everyone who's anyone, probably in their like 30s, 40s, knows who Farrah Fawcett is. I don't really know who she is. Ah, uh, she's been a lot of famous, a lot of famous things, so to speak, um, movies, all that fun stuff. I'm only 23. But, uh, she died not too long ago. I really like the uh, colon she, cancer. I think. She had done the detail on the towel. That's awful. She died. Of yeah, cancer. the details really. I like cool. the detail of the towel. Yeah, and she has a face. Haven't seen that for a minute. I, I, I'm sorry, a mouth on a face. So, anyway, that was the only thing that we picked up from Target. So. Next up, we went to, let's say Hot Topic. Let's do a Hot Topic. And again, this has been, this was, I think, all in one purchase for Hot Cash. So just to meet the Hot Cash quota and then get Hot Cash for next time, we went ahead and added a pin, and it is a Loungefly pin, and it is the Up House. And we have quite a collection of Up pins going on. We have a, our separate Disney board, which y'all haven't seen, but I'm not going to show you yet because we don't have that many things. But um, we'll it's, it's pretty cool. And we picked up two pops, one for her and one for technically both of us. But mine is the Hot Topic exclusive Winnie the Pooh that is flopped. Oh, I don't know what happened. It's kind of popping. Up. Uh, most of them were kind of damaged. So fun fact about this one: it was released, I think, in like 2017. Little honey. Yeah, really good one. I don't know why this was in stores. Um, this is really old. I guess it restocked. Most of them were torn up. This one wasn't too bad. It has a little bit of damage, but, yeah, but um, it's a cool pop. Plus sides, we got it basically 50% off. And then lastly, we finally bought this one. I was never going to pay retail for this. Because what was it, $40? Yeah. But it is Mushu riding Panda. And let me just tell you, this is this looks great. Mushu's back there. And then this Panda's adorable. There's the ECCC Con sticker. Um, from Mulan, Disney, of course, rides. Uh, yeah, again, I only bought this one um, because it was on hot cash. Is the box mint look dirty like that? I think it is. I don't know. Nonetheless, really cool figure. I think this one, though, is too small to be a $40 figure. I, I don't know. Say maybe they've been sitting on the shelf for so long because no one wants to pay the $40. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, so this is a cool pop. It's great when you get it for 20 bucks. So that's pretty neat. We would not pay 40 for it. Absolutely not. No way. Yeah. Then we did, um, I think this was Walmart. I'll run through these real quick. Walmart, I believe. Um, picked up from Jacob Pops, our cousin, actually. Jacob, Jacob Pops, Cubby Pops. If they don't oversaturate the markets with different variants of this, I do believe these will be grails one day. Or like pretty mid-tier grails. And the first one is DW from oh, Arthur. Arthur. I used to watch Arthur all the time when I was younger. It was one of my favorite shows. Yep, PBS Kids. And then, of course, Arthur, right here. 
And I do believe these will be grails. I could be wrong. Depends on how oversaturated they are, if they make a flock, if they make a glow in the dark, if they make a laced with marijuana one, I don't know. You know. Are these the only two in the line? There's different variants all the time. Yeah, I think they are, which is pretty cool. Be curious if they make other characters, but those were cool. Those were pickups. Not that we purchased. It's from, a, like I said, my cousin, so it was nice of him. Uh, let's do uh, Box Lunch. We do not live near Box Lunch. There's one in Pittsburgh, which is the closest to us. Um, we also went to an Ikea, just fun fact. We love Ikea. That's where we get most of the stuff that's back here, by the way. Our shelves. Our shelves. We actually just picked up a new one. Yep. We got to put together, so. I think they're... $49 if you're interested, by the way. They're not bad. So we got a couple things, uh, pop and non-pop related from um, Box, Lunch. Box Lunch. So first off, go ahead and show them that. That'd be cool. All right, look how cute this little bag is, first off. Adorable. So the first thing we have is Up Scrunchies. They're really cool. Kind of like the badges on this scrunchie. On this one, it has the up house and the balloons, and this one is blue to, I think, simulate the sky. But I love these. I've gotten back into scrunchies, and yep. I thought they were awesome. So that's our first item we picked up. Sticking with the up theme, I did get, of course, the Wilderness Explorer cup, because it's cute, with all of Russell's little badges. It's kind of a small cup. It is matches it... the scrunchie. Yep. Yeah. It was $12, which I think is too expensive, but I still wanted it. Must be like a camping cup. You so take camping. It. Yeah, really neat. There's kind of the material. So, and then sticking with the up theme. <laughs> it's a cute little up necklace. It'll, it's kind of hard to see, but it has the blooms up here and then the house down there. Yeah. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on after this video. It's super cute. It is cute. Uh, we picked up one pop, and that's because it looks really good like this, and it makes sense. And it is the glitter box lunch exclusive Morton Salt Girl. Love it. She's cute and it works because, you know, it looks like actual salt. Underrated pop, this pop's amazing. One of my favorite ad icons. Not really trying to straight up collect ad icons anymore, just ones I want. And then we have three pins that we got. Um, the first one she picked out, and this is from Monsters University. By the way, buy two, get one free. And it is Mike Wazowski. And this is it's such a so cute. It's so cool. It's like his ID for uh, work. Yeah, and he's so for, short. Uh, school, sorry. And he's so short that it only got part of him. So that is currently going on my pin board as we speak right now. There we go. We'll put it up Just there. the second one we'll show is Ian from Onward. Ian Lightfoot, baby. Really cool. If you have not seen Onward, you should. It's fantastic. This has two pin posts. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I know. I wanted the same thing when I picked it up. So this is going on our board as well. As we speak, I'm putting Ian in there. Plus, we got... A mystery pin, which are... Um, it could be... Bunch of villains. Seven Disney villains. villains? So who's in it? Um, we Ursula. have Jafar, Ursula, Cruella... Uh, Hades. Hades, Scar, Maleficent, and Dr. Facilier is the chase. So I guess we'll go ahead and open we'll it. show them the back. Yeah, show them the back real quick. Let's see. There's who you can get. Uh, Maleficent would be cool. Glow in the dark. Uh, Scar would be cool. Ursula would be cool. I'm sure you'd like Ursula. Yeah. So, let's open it. Okay. Go ahead. There it is. Black bag to protect its integrity oh Ursula, awesome cool. and, that, and her crown is glittery i don't know if you guys can see that but that's awesome <laughs> we were very excited about that okay. Ooh, ursula so ursula was going on our pin board over in the i separate it by disney and pixar because i'm like a psychopath for some reason OCD. apparently we already have the maleficent i have it on the board right now <laughs> good thing mm. we didn't get it ursula is awesome though that Honestly, That's that cool. would be the only one that I really want out of here. Um, maybe Corella, but... There, there's a lot of cool mystery box lunch pins, but they were all princesses, which we thought about getting. And it was either going to be, I think it was like perfume boxes or perfume sprayers or dresses. So, cool. Um, next up, where do we want to go to next? The Exchange. Yeah. We went to The Exchange. The Exchange is kind of like a thrift store for collectibles and video games. Yeah. Funko Pops. Yeah. And a lot of cool things. Um, and a and bunch we, of random things like cars. 
Yeah. For a dollar, I picked up a couple for a boy that I'm gonna be babysitting. So. Uh, they have things like movies. Yeah. Why don't you show? So, them? for example, the VCR. VHS. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I was like... VHS. <laughs> um, of Snow White, and these were all a dollar. Yeah. Pretty cool. And I also picked up the gold collection of Toy Story, the original. I had that back in the day. I, I know I still do some. And then Cinderella. I know I have Cinderella and um, Rapunzel somewhere. But really cool. Yeah. Yeah. But all a dollar. Pretty sweet. They also have things like vinyl records. And I finally got the first studio album of Bastille, Bad Blood. I love Bastille. They're one of my favorite bands. They, uh, I have Wild Wild World, which I just got not long ago, and then she bought me um, Doom Days, which I got for Christmas, and I was just trying to find this, and how about 10 bucks at the exchange for pretty much a brand new The Steel album, so we'll be playing that quite soon. And we did, believe it or not, get Pops, because they do have Pops. We didn't get much, and uh, we limited ourselves. They did have like the entire Saved by the Bell set, um, but nonetheless, let's show the couple we got. Go ahead. The one that I picked up um, is from the line Stranger Things. It's 11 and it's a box lunch exclusive. Not the best condition box, but this is a pop that I needed for my collection, so. Yeah. And those are the prices they are. $10, yeah. Um, you can, these do peel off if you're ever wondering. They peel right yeah, off look, without a problem. There we go. If you're curious. So that's so, cool. This, this is from, I think, the first Stranger Things season. Yeah, pretty sweet. And then I picked up two um, just because they were cheap. Um, one is a vaulted peanuts one and it is Sally Brown. We like that, nine bucks, whatever. I don't even know what it's worth and look, I just grabbed it. And then I do know this is a good deal because I wouldn't have gotten it otherwise. Um, this this chase is about 35 bucks and it's a glow in the dark um, chase of Snagglepuss. But it was there for $10 and it's actually in good shape. I don't think it's fake, I could be wrong, who knows. But um, still it was worth the gamble because uh, it was cheap, so Snagglepuss, cool. So yeah, we'll take the, with this, oop, as I like knock it open. So you never know, stuff could be fake too. People can fake, that's be careful. If you do go there, people can fake some stuff there. Um, but I tried to like pay attention, but yeah, they had tons of pops and they have multiple commons, um, old vaulted, they had some Disney vaulted, they had some other grails. I saw like Marceline, some Breaking Bad ones. There's a whole ton, I'm like 10 bucks. Wow, I see. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. Uh, wow, guys, we we're rolling on a long video. So next up, um, from the comic book store that we went to, picked up a couple of pops. First up. Uh, Upside Down Olaf from the first Frozen movie, and it's a Hot Topic exclusive. This one's been on my wish list for a while. He's yeah. so cute. I love Olaf. And keep us 10 bucks, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Not very much. Yeah. He's, uh, I think he's worth, like, 13. Yeah. And then next up, this is worth about 15, um maybe 20 I forget something like that we got it for 15 and it is going to the collection and this is the SDCC 2015 exclusive joy from inside out and I think she's glittery yeah that's the difference so we now have joy sadness and bing bong from the set which are pretty much the main three other bing bong. so we'll, we'll get anger inside too inside out is an underrated movie yeah it's so good such a good movie um also this has been on my once list and this is for my Sesame Street little collection. This is from New York Comic Con and is the Flocked Cookie Monster. Really awesome pop there. This pops about 50 bucks. I got this for 30, so that's a pretty good yeah. deal. But then even on the next one, it's an even better deal. We got the, another one on my wish list. It is the WWE Ultimate Warrior Vaulted. And this thing was 25, I yeah. think. And it's about a 50 to 55 dollar pop. So that's cool. I actually, fun fact, had everyone on that set except Ric Flair. Um, and I just bought them usually. I think most of them are for retail. So that's cool. Ultimate Warrior. I think of him as Ultimate Puke. Shout out Argent Sergeant Slaughter. They had so. a couple too that were from Beauty and the Beast, but I already have both of them. Mrs. Potts and Cogsworth. I need Lumiere. Yeah. So I was like, darn it, because they had both of those and not him. They had some good stuff. But they had the Olaf. So... Going on the train of wrestling, I'll show you one Mercari pickup. This was cheap. I got this, I think, for $20. And it is the Seth Rollins in his black uni. I don't know why I never got this, because I, I loved his white uniform the most, so I picked it up at the time. But I had to get the black one, and it was too good of a deal. This was a really cool 
um, outfit that he wore. Not as good as the white look that he had, but still neat. And then I will say finally, after about five months, I got my Dr. Pepper reward. So here is Dr. Pepper exclusive, Lil Sweet. It's the sweet one. That's right, it's the sweet one, there you go. Try not to take too much of your time. This came in pretty good condition, just a little box damage up there. But uh, compared to most people's, we'll take it, so. Uh, I got two other big grails and, man, this is gonna be a long video, guys, so. Let us know. Make do you sure want us to do stuff like this? Down that That's right. If you want us to continue doing videos where we haul everything, let us know. Um, we're just giving this a show, a try. So, uh, we like the new Remix Aliens pops. I think so they're really cool. I think this is one of the first looks I've seen of these, so I hope you enjoy. But first off, we got some pocket pops. We'll run through those real quick. We have the lovely Dory. Well, Alien as Dory. So that will go into our collection over there. And then we have Alien is Woody from Toy Story. And to continue on your train, there's Alien as Bo Peep, which is kind of mm -hmm. hilarious. Looks funny. And Alien is Bullseye. <laughs> and that pop will be limited to Funko Shop coming out soon. There's one with Kevin coming out to for the con. So next up, all the pops that we got. So we don't have the 10-inch Woody, which we did order, but it's it street dated. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, you know. So first off, let's show you this one. This is Alien as Dot. Uh, Dot. I love the character Dot. I need the original pop of Dot. So that's pretty cool. Dot. Look that. That one's cute. I like that one. So that's the first one. The second one. Let's do that one. <sighs> Alien is Dory. Look how cute he is. Little fins. I'm curious to see how these do on the market later on. Uh, I don't think those two will be popular because um, even the regular characters aren't super expensive, but I do think some of these next ones will be. So sticking on the Toy Story line, we have Emperor Zerg. So I just noticed like the facial expressions are different in each one. That's Which really is cool. fun, yeah. But yeah, that's cool that they're not all the same. So that's cool, if you don't know, we have an Emperor Zerg right up there. So, a couple of them. <laughs> This is my favorite, I think. It is Alien is Buzz. Very cool one. Yeah, that, that's my favorite, I think. I think those will both do well in the future. Yeah. I'm interested to see. So that's pretty cool. Then, of course, you know we love this movie. And first up, we have Alien is Doug from Up. This is one of my favorites. Not my favorite, but one of mine. Alien is Doug. So that's cool. Here is another. This one is my favorite. Alien is Carl. Look at the glasses. I think that one's fantastic. Yeah. The Love quality it. on these ones. And he even has the little soda pop on his uh, jacket there. Which is awesome. I know people are indifferent on these, but I like them. So. I don't see how people could like not like these. I don't either. I love them. Yeah. So that one's cool. That one's not in the best condition. I just realized that. Is it not? And oh. Of course, it's my favorite. And then lastly, we have Russell. And that one's cute, too. The hat and the badge. I like how the they did sash. that one. It's, it's fun. Yeah, a little damage on the Carl. And that's not a big deal to me. And if I see it again, I'll just pick it up. It's whatever. I don't really care. So that's pretty cool. And just a couple more things. I'll show you a couple grails. Oh, and I forgot. I'll show you this. I'm a huge basketball fan. If you didn't know, my favorite player is Allen Iverson. So I found this jersey of his Bethel High School jersey at a store while we were there. And it even has stitched on Iverson on the back. So that was an automatic cop. So I got it. The answer, baby. The answer. Wow, 20 minutes. We only have two more, I swear. <laughs> two more pops. First one is a gift from her that she got me as a just because. And well, I just sometimes didn't... it's nice to get your significant other something when That's you're right. having a bad day. So That's that... right. That's what I did, and it actually came in um, earlier than expected, so that was nice before our trip. And it's awesome. If you haven't seen Instagram, maybe you wouldn't know, but it is going to be the Remy Flocked Chase from Ratatouille, which is, in fact, probably the most underrated Pixar movie in the world. It's shipped in the protector, great condition. Yep, shout out. Would definitely recommend, if you haven't seen Ratatouille, you better, because it's great. Uh, it's, one of my, it's probably top five Pixar movie with me. Somewhere in there with Up, um, Toy Story, probably Inside Out, and then somewhere around there is Coco, uh, 
probably Onward, Monsters, Inc. Oh, there's just so many. I love Monsters, Inc. Monsters, yeah. Inc. will always be... Up there for you. Yeah. There's so many good ones. I love The Good Dinosaur, and people didn't like it, so whatever. I have not seen that yet. Yeah, she I'll hasn't. You have to watch it. You have to be emotionally stable. And then last... Yeah, it's great. He, your nephew knows well. And then lastly, I did get a grail for the Disney collection. Um, I had a code to get a discount on this, and I actually got it without it selling out, which was shocking. And then I also had a gift card that I won from a mystery box for Spastic Collectibles. So I was able to get this for like 60 some bucks, and it is the vaulted Edna E. Mode from Disney. Incredibles, original line. This one's awesome. The cool thing about this is it's in fantastic condition, too. Such a great pop, so. See you. Boom. So, guys, that was a haul, let me tell you. That was a load. That, that, was, our, that was our big haul. Yeah. But, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what your favorite pop that we picked was. Let us know what you think about doing videos like this, where it's, like, staggering out a bunch um, from just, like, little mini hauls, especially because we can't pop hunt right now and film. Let us know if you want us to do like a June, July, August, September edition of our hauls. Not related to mystery boxes and stuff, but hauls separately. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. Leave us a like, let us know you enjoyed, and tell us what your favorite pop was. And what do you think of the remix ones? I'm curious. I, I enjoy them and she enjoys them. I really them. like them. I don't see. Yeah. I don't know. That people, I don't know. People, people like things that I don't like and vice versa. I don't like anime people love them so whatever <laughs> but anyway guys we'll catch y'all later it's papa and mama pops and we're signing out until next time see ya